Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys um, how to use Camtasia 7. Um, there's a bunch of new features in this. Uh, they made a few features more clear uh, for us to use. So I'm going to go over these today and talk about a few simple things on um, how can Camtasia 7 works and some extra things you can do besides just recording. So um, I actually took the time to create a little 18 second clip um, before I um, did this video um, adding a few effects in that Camtasia you can use. Um, you're going to see some zoom ins um, I've added. You can see my mouse. Um, I have edited that. I've added some music and I've also added in some call outs and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the video. So uh, here you go, guys. Enjoy. Actually, I'm going to make the volume a little louder so you guys actually can hear it. There's music in this. But it's kind of very soft right now so I'm going to do it again <laughs> sorry guys here you go go ahead and watch it Alright, so there you go guys. Um, you may have noticed that um, it was a little slow and laggy. Um, that is because I just created this little thing. I just did it in a few minutes. Um, after you render it and uh, export it or publish it um, as a regular video, it won't look like that and it will look smooth and fluent. But um, I actually have received... Um, uh, this keeps coming up on me. But uh, I actually have received a um, question and um, actually a request on how exactly to do with the mouse, how I do with the mouse, um, having different colors, and um, how to make um, zoom in on certain things. Um, I was going to do it for Camtasia 6, but as Camtasia 7 just came out and it makes it so much simpler, I figured I might as well take Camtasia 7 and teach you guys with this. So basically, um, your main everything that you need is going to be right here. After you get your clips, um, your clip in will actually be things you recorded. Um, if you recorded in Camtasia, it will be right here. You can actually um, bring other clips that um, you recorded with something else or a video clip you have you can actually bring that into this program Camtasia to edit it if you really want to um, I would choose a different program but you can if you really like to this is a $300 program so you can use it that way too so basically you're going to drag it to your timeline and with my timeline you can see a bunch of different things here and um, these little blue things are um, zooming in and um, if you watch the little arrow I have about right here, it comes up. If I can get it to come up. Oh, that did not work out well. Let's try this again. It comes up right about here. Um, that is a call out. How to put call outs in your videos. You basically go to this tab here. You um, pick the arrow you want to. It will then show up on the screen. You drag it wherever you want to. You can choose a different shape. You can uh, do whatever you want to. Um, you can move it like this, however you want to. You can put text in it. Whatever you want to do, that's how you do it. And then when you figure out what you want in it, you just push add call out and that'll put it in. And I did a little arrow thing like you see there. Um, another thing you can do, um, zooming in, which is one of the main things I want to go over today because I was asked about this highly more above other things, I would say. And um, basically, they have made it much simpler now with Camtasia 7. And basically, you find the part of your video. Usually, it's when you open up another box that you zoom in because then you can... Um, look at the box and see that box instead of looking at the whole screen and the box can be bigger so you can understand it more or see it better and um, basically it's very easy to do now you pick the time of your movie I'll say it's right here and we want to zoom in on these two programs right here on the middle of my screen all I'm gonna do is then right here is where I want the thing when you're doing this make sure you go into advanced when you first bring up the tab it's gonna look something along the lines of this this is what it's going to look like. Something like this. Um, when I go into it, this basically, when um, the zooming in comes, or when you're zooming in, this decides how fast it zooms in. So you can take it, go really slow zooming in, or you can make it go faster zooming in. I usually, I like 0.25 because it gets to where you're going to somewhat fast. But you guys can decide. And then you're going to want to pick your area. So go into advanced and make sure you uncheck maintain aspect ratio. That way you can take this box and really put it wherever you want to. So I want to go to these two programs right here. I'm just going to move this box around 
until I get to these two programs and I want to make it e somewhat even so they don't look totally choppy so I now have found the things I want to and I'm just gonna see I'm gonna pull these out of here I don't want these in here for now well they can be here but oh well so now I have figured out the area I want to right here this is where I want to zoom into so now all I'm gonna do is I have everything I want to here we'll make it a little slower zooming in and I push add keyframe um, I cannot put this right here so I'm going to take this one is this this one I'm working on? Yes, it is. I'm going to take this and throw this one out. Take this one, throw this one out. We're gonna be right here. I'm gonna add this keyframe. Oh, it's already in. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go back to the video, and we're just gonna watch, and you'll see how it zooms in. It starts out. These are my two programs. It zooms in, and then when I want it to zoom out, basically I just keep going, and then I change it. So say I want it to zoom out again, back to what it was before then I would put add keyframe and which it already did for me um, it, it'll show up but it's it, it sometimes does it for you before pushing add keyframe but you guys can figure it out so now we're watching it again we zoom in now we zoom out and uh, it's basically as easy as that you can go throughout your video and do that as many times as you'd like to that is a zoom in, pa zoom in pan sorry and that's how to zoom into certain areas and zoom out and you guys can mess around with that it's very easy to use uh, the next is audio. Um, when you bring into a uh, certain audio into your clip, as you can see right here, you can um, put the volume up or down. I have about medium right now instead of 100%, so it's not as loud. Uh, you can have it fade in and fade out, which is good. You can also silence it and mute the track if you'd like to. Um, you can also do enable voice optimization, where if you're talking, you can make it sound as a male voice or a female voice or make it sound different. Um, and then noise removal, basically, um, sometimes, like, if you're talking there's things in the background or background noise or your mic isn't the best so it makes certain noises that will remove some of those or at least do its best to do that so that's what that does and then um, volume, le volume leveling basically um, is the same thing as making the volume low or high and stuff like that that's how to do um, audio um, if you guys create um, if two videos or put them together or two different clips you're putting them together um, you well you split a clip by pushing S. Like if I want to split my clip right here, I could push S. Now you guys can see that clip is split. I could then go to transitions, find a transition I want, put this right here, and now when it's going from this clip to that clip, it'll then, um, as you can see right there, do a little glow thing, and then the next clip is there, and that's what it does. Um, when you have these little um, uh, transitions and you do need to make sure you put the audio um, there too because as you saw during the transition my audio wasn't there but you can mess around with that um, the next thing is voice narration um, actually I'm not gonna go over that yet I will in a second but first I want to go over cursor effects cursor effects is how you make the mouse look how it is right now how mine is right here in the middle of the screen um, with the yellow and the highlighted and the cursor size you can make it big or small whatever um, this you don't have to do before you do the video. You can do this all after you do the video. So I had this here, and when you first come in, um, everything's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna take it back to what it'll look like when you first um, have it, and we're gonna go over this together. So basically, your first your mouse is like this. Um, your mouse looks exactly like that. That's what your mouse is gonna look like. When you come to here, you can actually change your mouse size to make it bigger. So if you're trying to um, highlight certain areas this will really help um, as you're clicking certain things you can more draw more attention to that area as you would say um, highlight effect there's highlight as you can see which is yellow spotlight which does that uh, if you want to darken your screen that will really draw attention and then magnify which basically just is magnifying glass going around um, those are all different things I like to use highlight because it kind of, it's not too standing out but it makes enough people see okay this is where his mouse is at this is where he's clicking you guys can see what I'm trying to do um, the left click effect is basically if you left click something um, right here it's going to do that it's going to do rings um, they also have warp which will warp and then ripple which will do little ripples instead of doing um instead of doing like a rings or do a little ripple instead and right click is the same thing instead of when you left click it can be if you right click and then you can do click sound effects. Uh, when I do sound effects, I use my left click. I'll do laptop click, and um, you can hear that maybe, maybe not. It's very silent, um, but it's a laptop click. 
Uh, the mouse click sounds alright, but I must just do the left click, and then this is how I usually set up myself. My cursor size might not be as big, but this is how I set up when I do a Camtasia video, when I'm recording my, my tech tutorials, and uh, when I'm doing this, this is how I work with stuff. I usually would do my zoom in pan, my cursor effects, and transitions I'll add in every now and then, just because it adds something new to it. It adds something kind of like, I don't know, it just makes it more professional, more fancy. And like I said, this is a $300 program, guys. Might as well use this program to the best of its ability and not waste anything else. Um, so basically, um, that's the main things right here. If you go to library, they do actually have a few things you can use. I used Come and Play. That was a song that was just playing. Um, and a few other things. Um, this is in my way now. But uh, basically, you can look through the library thing. They have a few sound effects too, um, which is already there. But you can look through that. They have a few things already there for you that you don't have to get on your own. Um, so that's helpful too. If you guys want to check out the library, I'm not going to go through that stuff because there's a bunch of things there. Uh, if you're really curious, you can look through it yourself and um, you can figure things out. Uh, when you go into more, there's a few more things. Title clips. Uh, basically, um, if you do a title clip, uh, I'm not going to do it now, but it, just, it adds a title clip to the middle of the screen. Um, so say you want to make a transition or like say like a black time where you just want to write something when you're not talking or adding. Like, it's like an annotation, like a big annotation. Uh, if you guys know YouTube, the annotations on the screen. That's what title clips is. Voice narration, um, say you record something but you didn't do audio with it or whatever, you just record something. You can then take Camtasia and record your voice over and then you can use that as an audio and put that with your video. So basically it's just you're, you already recorded something but now you're recording your voice to put over it or you can use it whatever, for whatever else. It's basically just a microphone recording thing that you can use. Um, another thing is record camera. I'm actually not sure what this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like if you have a camera that can connect to your computer, you can connect your camera. Well, while you're recording your camera, it's showing up on your computer. I'm not sure because I don't have a camera to do that and I haven't tested it. But that's you can look more into that if you'd like to. Picture in picture, I have not really looked into it yet either. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I'm guessing that by the looks of it, it is basically if you have a picture you want to put up while you're recording or while in the middle of the video you have a picture you want to put onto there you can then do that and you can probably adjust the size and things like that I'm not going to look into it or try it because I haven't done it yet and I don't want to look like a fool if I'm totally incorrect but from what I know and from what the looks of it is you just put a picture um, in the middle of your video whenever and that's that captions um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. You guys can look more into that if you'd like to. I never use it. And then quizzing is just another thing. You can I guess you can add little questions on the screen. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not gonna really go over that stuff. But basically, like I said, if you guys have been watching my videos or seen my tech tutorials, whenever I do anything, um, basically all I do is zoom and pan and cursor effects. Um, transitions I'll do somewhat, but other than that, I mean it's very simple to do. Um, when you do add a transition, though. Or you do add a, um, where's my arrow? Oh, my arrow here. My arrow, if I want it a certain amount of time, while you're in your timeline, you can see this little zoom tool here. If you zoom in, you can actually take whatever you want to and make it shorter or you can make it longer. Um, that way, if you guys are like trying to make it a certain amount of time, just so you guys know, um, just go into your uh, timeline here and you can basically adjust anything. If the music is too long to your video, you take go to the end of the music clip and um, rewind it. I'm going to show you here, actually. Um, if I want this music longer, all i got to do is go to the end of it. I can extend it, and then it'll be longer. So that's basically, guys, um, how to use Camtasia. Then after you're done, you will go to File, which uh, you guys actually can't see right now. Um, you will then go to, uh, I believe it is, um, I'm actually not sure what, let me see if I'm going to figure this out. I know you produce it somehow. I, I haven't actually produced something in Camtasia 7 yet. That's why I'm so clueless. Um, I'm pretty sure you go to, yeah, you go to produce and share. Um, then I would put it to um, custom production settings. Um, if you want to do it HD for YouTube or the full YouTube settings, you need 1280 by 720. You would then publish your clip. Um, if you do WMV, um, that should turn out HD. I'm not sure if it will though. But uh, guys, I'm running out of time, so I just want to thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, um, this has helped you um, figure out how to use Camtasia and use all these little extra effects. If you have any questions, please post a comment. 
or send me a message. So I just want to thank you guys once again for watching. Take care, and uh, I will see you guys later.